you will come to Matro Online, your online school. Uh, before you, teacher Noah, uh, a physics educator, and the, I want to take you through a sample physics scenario uh, from a topic called electricity. The scenario here it goes uh, in your neighborhood, a businessman wanted to wire his house. But he is confused on the different ways on how to make electrical connections. As a physics learner, but A, advise the businessman the different ways uh, of how to make the different electrical connections with the help of diagrams. But B, give the businessman the best option he can take and give reason as to why he could take it. Then C, you are an electrical engineering student tasked to design a circuit for the project. You have three resistors with the values 5 ohms, 10 ohms, and 2 ohms, respectively. Determine the effectiveness, uh, determine the effective resistance when, but A, all the resistors are in series, then part 2. When 5 ohm resistor is in series with the parallel connection of 10 ohm and 2 ohms okay straight away let us first of all uh you see this new curricula we are problem solvers the man has a problem he wants to wire his house he does not know the different connections that he can use you the physics student you're going to help this man and he come up with a clear way on how he can wire his house. So uh, you very well know, you who is watching, that we have two types of connections that we can use during wiring or connections. We have the series arrangement and then the parallel connection or parallel arrangement. They each have different merits and demerits so we shall finally advise this man on which way to use which which method should he wire his house and why so to begin with we are going to because they told us to use diagram so it's very very important to use the diagram such that you drive your point home and you make it categorical very clear such that this man even when he's very deep there in the village illiterate and he knows nothing about the connectivity, he can really learn and appreciate your good work. Last more. So part A, uh, we are going to consider two cases. I'm going to consider case one and case two. Case one, we are going to consider series arrangement, series connection, series connection. Now, under series connection, here, the terminals of the bulbs are connected end to end. Positive to negative, positive to negative, like that. Then, as you are seeing, this is our battery, and then these are our bulbs. We are only using, if one wire ends here, we get another one, begins from the other terminal, it is connected to the next terminal. Uh, you get another wire. Connect it here, then again connect it to the next terminal, like that, like that. So it should be in series. It should be in just a line like this. That is one way, and it's called a series connection, because it is forming a series, as you are seeing. So I have three bulbs in this case that I'm going to use. I have bulb one, bulb two, bulb three. And now, if I have a switch K here, when I complete it, of course, current will flow through it, uh, throw, uh, will flow through the circuit and these bulbs will have to give light. When they light up, you realize that they will all be in the same uh, wire. Now, it has some good advantages and disadvantages. The advantage in it is that it consumes the same power here. Current flows, current is the same. If this bulb is giving much light, even this will give the same light this bulb is giving because the same current is passing through them. 
However, it also has some demerits with it. The disadvantage with it is that in case this, this bulb here, maybe it gets a, a problem. Or this wire is cut. When this wire gets cut, the current flow is cut off. That means this bulb here and this one will stop giving light. Or anyway, the wire may not be cut. We can fix it. What if now this bulb grows and it gets a fault, it stops working? Definitely there will be no flow of current. And so even this bulb will not give light. Okay, this one assume it is now okay, it is very okay. This bulb gets a fault, it will affect the rest. The disadvantage with series connection is that in case one bulb gets a damage, it affects the whole arrangement. But the good thing with it is that current flowing through all the circuit is the same. The same current from the battery here, if this is current I, it comes here when it is still I, it reaches here when it is still I, it reaches here when it is still I, reaches here when it is still current I. So current is the same. P is different. Now we go to the next connection. So this man has an option of using this series arrangement because we've told him the good things with it and then the bad things with it. But we shall recommend him. Let us go to case two. Case two, we are going to look at parallel connection. Parallel connection. Now when you look at this parallel connection, for it it is arranged in this format. We get uh, three bulbs and then we connect it in that form. Uh, the good thing with this bulb is that uh, this bulb here, if this bulb A or bulb 1 gets a problem, it will not affect bulb 2 and bulb 3. They will continue to give light. They will continue to give light because they are not affected anymore. They are not tampered with. Even when this gets a damage, Bulb three and bulb one will continue to give we will continue giving light. However, current here is different. Now, if current is moving from the battery here, it moves when it is I here, moves when it is I. When it reaches here, it has to divide itself. This bulb has to take, this has to take, this has to take. Now this can take I1, this can take I2, this can take I3. However, they will again come back here and they become I. Now that means I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. PD uh, is also different. Uh, current here, current was the same, PD was different, but here PD is the same, uh, current is different. Now, the bad thing with this parallel connection is that the battery here, uh, okay, the good thing with it is that in case of, in case one bulb gets a problem, it does not affect the rest. Uh, then when we look at part B, uh, before actually we go to part B, me and you, which of the two methods that you've seen, can you recommend the man and why? Uh, I, I would recommend that man to use parallel connection. Why? Power connection is good because in case a bulb gets a problem, one of the bulbs gets a problem, it will not affect the rest of the bulbs. They will continue to work. Unlike the series connection, where a mistake in one bulb will affect the entire stuff. So I recommend this man to use this parallel connection. Okay, let us go to part B. Now, this part B, they are again including you. I have told you that you are an electrical engineering student and I believe you watching there, you want to be an engineer at one time. Know this, you are an electrical engineering student tasked to design a circuit for a project. You have three resistors with the values 5 ohms, 10 ohms and 2 ohms respectively. Okay, so we have the ohm summarized as above. Then Determine the effective resistance when resistors are connected in series. So in the first case, we are going to assume these resistors are connected in series. 
So we shall have these resistors connected in series like that. Now these resistors here, it is 5 ohms, 5 ohms, 10 ohms, and then we have 2 ohms. Now effective resistance, if this is ala 1, resistor 1, resistor 2, resistor 3, the effective resistance ala, effective resistance ala, when these resistors are connected in series, we shall add the individual resistances and then we get the total. So R will be equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So we realize that R1, R1 is 5 ohms plus 10 ohms plus 2 ohms. So our effective resistance denoted by R capital will now be equal to 17 ohms when these resistors are connected in series. Then the last part of this, uh, they want us to take a case to determine the effective resistance when 5 ohm resistor is, it, is in series with the power connection of 10 ohm and 2 ohms. So that means they want us to consider 5 to be in series with a power connection of 10 and 2. So I'm going to consider this case. We have 5, this 5 is in series, but it is in series with a parallel connection of 10 ohm. That means 10 ohm resistor and a 2 ohm resistor for them, they are in parallel. So we have 2 ohm here, then 10 ohms here, like that. Then here it is 5 ohms, as you can see, illustratively. They want us to find the effective resistance for this. In the first case, all of them were in series. In the second case, one was in series with the parallel connection of 10 and 2. So now, here, we know that when I have two resistors connected in the parallel like this, if I have R1 and I have R2 like that, then to get the effective resistance, if I say 1 over R will be equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, and then 1 over R will be equal to the LCM, which is R1, R2, over when we divide this into that, we shall have R1 plus R2. So this is a reciprocal. When I make R to be up and want to go down, even this will somersault, and so I'll end up having my R equals to product, which is R1, R2, out of sum, which is R1 plus R2, like that. Now, that is for a bio connection if it has two resistors. Now, I'm just going to consider this two, the first two here. Now, I'm going to say, I'm going to say uh, RP. RP means the effective resistance for resistors in a parallel. So, when I say R parallel, I'm only going to consider this. So, RP is equal to product over sum. If I call this R1, I want to call this R2. So it is product, which is R1, R2, out of R1 plus R2. So that's product over sum. That only works. This, has, this small formula here works for two resistors. In case you have three resistors, use this formula. 1 over R equals to 1 over R1, 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 up to infinity. So we are now going to say R parallel will be equal to R1 which is 10 times 2 divided by 10 plus 2. This is 20 divided by 12. So when you divide, uh, when you divide 20 divided by 12, you get 1.67. So it is 1.67 and these are ohms, but that is now a la parallel. Remember, we have also a 5 ohm resistor, which is in series with the parallel arrangement. Now, the new diagram will be like this. We have the 5 ohm resistor. It is now in series with the parallel. Now, here, it is now R parallel. That is our R parallel. Instead of we having this diagram, it's now one resistor, which is RP. I can denote it like that. So, you realize that this is now in series. So, 5 ohm resistor is in, parallel, is in series with the, uh, with the RP connection. So now effective resistance finally will be equal to R1 plus RP if this is R1 anyway. 
So this is 5 ohms, 5 ohms plus RRP, which was 1.670 ohms. So we shall have 6.67 ohms as the effective resistance. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos.